Rushy is a piece that came out about four years ago by Sheet Music Boss and it created a bit of an internet storm at the time. There is an impossible version that isn't possible to play on a real piano and there is a playable version which is kind of the light version of it. And since then Sheet Music Boss has gone on to create a similar version of this kind of piece based around every key on the piano. But since last week we now also have Rush E2 and because I am a pianist I thought why not react to it? So let's do that. <laughs> if any human being actually performed this song as written here, it would probably end the world on the spot. E. I have often wondered how many actual pianists it would take to play Rush E. Maybe I should make a video trying to find out how many pianists you would need to actually play the impossible version. Yeah, the Mark Rober video I did a reaction to as well, so you can go and check that out after this. Ah, oh, here we go again. I mean, the first one started off quite nice with just... This one's already started off pretty insane. So I didn't know whether it'd just be a different song based around the key of E, but it's actually included the melody from the original, which is nice. It's also kind of interesting that it's color coded, so that kind of tells us how many pianists you would need to be able to play it. Give me kind of funk vibes with the rhythm. Kind of like that where you feel I need to head bob. Key change? I don't know whether there was a key change in the original. E. That was already not possible. I'm pretty sure in the first version it was possible up until that point where you get the E. Change key again. Imagine trying to play that fast. Yeah, it's not possible. You'd have to be on a grand piano or something really responsive to get your hand to work that fast. My hands just don't work at that speed. Making me go dizzy. I think we've now got to see if Mark Rober's piano can play this one as well, surely? It's very interesting. It's surprisingly similar to the first one. I think he's done a good job of sort of upgrading it and making it level two of Rush E. I'd be very interested to know if he's written the music for a possible version of this to play, and if he hasn't, if he's going to. And then you never know, maybe I'll learn it at some point. Mark Rober made a video where he made a piano that can play itself and they played Rushy number one. And in this video, I react to that. So if you're interested in that, head on through and I will see you there.